Hi, it's Kelly here coming at you with a small neurographic drawing that I'm putting in my sketchbook today. It's just a little one. I'm still exploring this art form. When I did it the first time, it just looked like an interesting experiment. I really didn't know that much about neurographic art. I've done a little bit of research and um, although I'm always a little skeptical of gimmicky type things, I do really feel like it opened my mind a little bit and relaxed me so much. I never felt so relaxed uh, voicing over a, um, a YouTube video before. And I think it was honestly the kind of drawing. It just kind of lends itself to, um, you know, sharing. So I felt like the neurographic art has been a real good way for me to break into that feeling of being more natural. And I think the neurographic art also may help me overcome some of my sketchbook anxiety. I have seen so many sketchbooks of other artists, um, lots of different artists, and their sketchbooks are just so incredible. And I let myself get into this sort of frame of mind that um, this sketchbook is a representative of me, and if the work in it isn't a real well done, then it it feels like <laughs> your permanent record. You know, in school they would tell you it's going on your permanent record. So anyway, I'm trying to get away from that. I think it's limiting and I don't think it's productive at all. So now I'll tell you a little bit about what I was thinking about when I was making this drawing. Um, I do listen to a lot of music and podcasts and um, I don't know. I've had some experiences recently that let me know I'm a little bit kind of out of touch. I'm not really um, as current on things as I ought to be, maybe. And um, like in the last couple of years, I discovered Spotify and Deezer. Okay, I'm going to tell on myself. One of my son's friends a few years ago um, had posted something on Facebook. And she was upset because of something someone said to her. And she said, bye, Felicia. And I, we were kind of a close-knit group. And so I messaged her and I said, I don't know who this Felicia is. Okay, I was really earnest. I don't know who this Felicia is, but she sounds very insecure and I don't think you should pay any attention to her. Oh. She then messaged me back and said, Mrs. Scott, oh yeah, and I'm Mrs. Scott not Kelly, Mrs. Scott. Mrs. Scott, it's an expression. It means, I can't remember what she said, something like um, kiss off. So yeah, that was embarrassing. So it kind of occurred to me that we should have a podcast for people who've been um, out of touch, like if you've been caretaking or raising kids, I'm telling you, raising kids, you don't have time to keep current on stuff. You just don't. You're busy. And um, particularly if your kids are school age. So starting from the time my kids were probably in, uh, I don't know, um, preschool. I don't know. I was just all about the kids and all about my family. And a whole lot of stuff happened from the time I had kids to they graduated from high school. 
I don't know if you've had that experience, but to me, it was like, I don't know, it, if you ever saw that movie Willow, and I can't remember her name, the witch or whatever, and Willow has to turn her back into her real self, and she tells him, I'm a beautiful young woman. And then when he finally gets it right, and turns her back into her normal self she's like has it been so long because she's really old and I sort of feel like that's what happened to me so we need a podcast and I was trying to get my kids to do it with me and you know like talk about what we should know that we don't know Anyway, um, so um, also I'm going to tell you a little bit about my pen situation. Um, I really love using my technical pens because I can get that ultra fine line that I'm just so addicted to. I love it. But um, when you use them on even hot press watercolor paper, I don't know whether it's inking over watercolor on this. In this case, I had a little bit of Graphitin pencil, but not very much. So I think maybe some of the paper fibers get stuck in the nib or something. Anyway, I'm going to have to do something different. My pen right here is about to clog, and it's very frustrating. I've already unclogged it two or three times during this drawing. So I'm going to drop back and punt and I'm pulling out um, platinum carbon ink and I'm going to use um, I think it's a Zebra G nib. It's a dip pen. I haven't used it a lot but it seems to be a staple among a lot of um, professional illustrators. So if it's good enough for them, I don't see why I can't learn to make friends with it because I really think that I can get the very fine lines with it. Um, you just have to dip back into your well to get ink. And it's, I, I think it's frustrating, but um, I'll probably get a feel for how much ink to put on and um, how long it will last depending on what kind of lines I'm drawing but I just love those ultra fine hairbreadth lines and tiny little dots it just warms the cackles of my heart and I want to continue to use my sketchbooks I've got a variety of formats that I've made and I've made I've probably got five or six that I made and I use really good paper in them a variety of different papers and um, especially for practice I have a lot of loose art and cataloging it and um, storing it because they're not all the same size and um, I don't know, I think using a sketchbook will keep my practice work a lot more organized and I'll um, be able to have a record of what worked and what didn't. So I'm just gonna get over that whole thing about a sketchbook being a work of art in itself because yeah, it can be, but maybe it's really ultimately more valuable um, to be able to go back and see a record of what you did and how you did it and what did not work so you don't keep repeating it. Anyway, um, I'm getting toward the end of this video and the end of this drawing. So I just want to leave you with some happy thoughts. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere like I am, um, you may be really looking forward to longer days. I've noticed that the days are beginning to get a little bit longer, noticeably. Um, 
a little bit here and there. And I want to thank everybody for the amazing response to my last neurographic drawing video. I was really blown away and very grateful and happy and excited. And I hope that this video um, meets your expectations. And thank you. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe and maybe hit the notifications bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.